start. Hi, good morning. Uh, this is Manoj Kumar Nadipilli. My student ID is EGP3036. Today I am going to explain you about ASIC versus Adler. The New South Wales Supreme Court has uh, handed down a significant decision uh, which recognizes that in uh, particular circumstances, the chairman of the board of directors may have special responsibilities uh, above and beyond of other non-executive directors. The addition across from an application by the chairman of the failed telecommunications company. And uh, the next section is uh, the duty of care and negligence. Uh, according to the section uh, 181 of the Act states that uh, director of or other officers of the corporation must exercise their powers and discharge uh, uh, their duties uh, with the degree case and diligence. And that of the responsible person would exercise if only they have were uh, directors or officer of the corporation in the corporation circumstances and uh, other parties like uh, the occupied of the officer may hold and uh, have uh, uh, the same responsibilities uh, within the corporation as the director of the office of an organization. This is my part. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good day. Hi, my name is Marcus Mitsuru Fujimoto, student number AMG 3028. Uh, in accordance to section 180 brackets 1 of the Corporations Act, AC claimed that Mr. Greaves is responsible as a director because he was chairman to not only one house board of directors but also a chairman in auditing and finance uh, committee. Uh, Mr. Mr. Greaves, however, contested this information, claiming that uh, the word responsibilities, as in section 180 brackets 1, uh, should be re directly related to the to what's written into the corporation's uh, articles. The court, however, accepted the, the ASIC uh, claims, stating that the responsibilities rise not rise from, not only from, from what is written in the articles, but also to how the job is actually distributed ASIC used the professional opinion of two experts to describe the responsibilities of a director as they described as having leadership, properly setting up meetings to inform the board of their performance and finance position, to lead the board to monitor and assess their finance position, inform the board of any material uh, information, keep track and analyze their debtors, ensure that the finance director has the adequate skills to perform the job uh, the director has to be aware and satisfied of the information pub uh, published in the public statements is it uh, has to properly take actions in relation to the cash reserves when the expenditures are higher and expected to be continually higher than the income and and also ensure the the audit committee is capable of performing their job properly. Uh, considering all that, Justin J decided to carry on with the trial, as ASIC had enough evidence to claim uh, uh, to sustain their claim that Mr. Greaves is actually the director responsible for all those. Hi, my name is Nitik Shrestha, and my student ID is GIA3020. Uh, with respect to reliance, and reliance on management, Mr. Graves the defendant, defended the argument insisting that if all the responsibilities are given to the chairman, it would be contradictory to other law, particularly which permits chairman to trust the subordinates unless some suspects occur, and in some case he has permission to leave management matters to other directors. Focusing on this point, Justice Austin noted that it cannot finalize the conclusion indicating that the directors could not trust their subordinates as all the directors have responsibilities to take awareness about the financial activities so that it will enhance the responsibility of the chairman including existing duties. Concluding all the aspects to an expanded operation of section 1801 of the Act, it is now recognized that the chairman, including the other directors, may hold special responsibilities with discharging their duty of care and diligence to the company, depending on their responsibility respectively. 
and the condition of the company. It is also mentioned that fulfilling the responsibility, a chairman must ensure the standard of corporate governance with respect to the qualification and experience of the individual. Finalizing that the company has an effective reporting system with board of directors to improve the financial health of the company, also to take appropriate action if financial problem occur. Given that uh, this increased responsibility, the company chair may lose its luster from some directors and compensation for company chairman may increase to reflect the increased work and risk attached to the role. Thank you. My name is Kesa Patriel. My student ID is EMP3486. In relation to responsibility of director of company, Asik Ellis, Mr. Grip, who is the defendant that company director is required to take reasonable and sufficient steps to ensure that all the responsibilities have been made assigned to chairman by company as mentioned in section 181 bracket 1 of corporate corporation act. The evidence submitted by ASIC in the court in support of the case was from two available affidavit of prominent Australian company chairman, which has been using as a reference to various report, academic writing in various places, including Australia. In this evidence, the court stated that given evidence is relevant to ascertain the responsibility of chairman, which the Mr. Defendant was subjected in between January and March of 2001. In addition, Justice Austin further added that the court must perform this difficult task of duty of care with the help of getting reference to community expectation in terms of corporate governance. So this case can be assisted with the evidence provided by ASIC rather than usual unassisted armchair reflection. Here the court role is to articulate and apply a standard of care that reflects contemporary community expectations. Thank you.